In this question, we're asked to evaluate a definite integral. The integral from 1 to infinity of e to the minus root x divided by root x dx. Okay, we don't particularly like the square root of x there. That's a little bit difficult. So the obvious thing to do is to make a substitution. So let's let u equal square root of x. So there's three things that are going to happen when we make a substitution. First of all, the square root of x's are going to be replaced with u. Secondly, we're going to have to look at the bounds of integration and convert them from x bounds to u bounds. And secondly, and finally, we'll have to replace the dx with the appropriate expression involving du. So let's get that first. Let's differentiate this. du equals, take the derivative of x to the half, we get 1 half x to the minus a half. That's 1 over 2 root x dx. And we can write that as 1 over 2u dx because root x is in fact a u. Next, we observe that as x goes from 1 to infinity, u goes also from 1 to infinity. When x is 1, u will be 1. When x is infinity, or getting to be a very big positive value, then u will also approach a very big positive value. All right, so therefore we can now rewrite our integral. It's now an integral as u goes from 1 to infinity. We'll have an e to the minus u all over u. And the dx is replaced from this expression by 2u du. Solving for dx, 2u du. The u's cancel conveniently, and we get 2 integral from 1 to infinity of e to the minus u du. And let's remind ourselves about what this means, because we can't integrate it now. This really is the, uh, if we want to, this is the limit as, say, capital N approaches infinity of 2 over 1 to the n e to the minus u du. That's what the meaning of this uh, integral is. All right, so we can write down what i is. So i is 2. Okay, we're evaluating the integral of e to the minus u, which is e to the minus u with a minus sign from 1 to infinity. So this is 2 times uh, the limit as n goes to infinity of minus e to the minus n. That's essentially the value when you substitute infinity. It's really a limit as n goes to infinity, minus the value at 1, so that will be plus e to the minus 1. And what is the limit as n goes to infinity of e to the minus n? That's 0. So this first term will be 0, and we'll just get 2 times e to the minus 1. So our answer is 2 over e.